Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well. Excuse me puffing, I'm out here hiking. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm out here hiking and we just came up a massive mountain. And it's actually really hot here today in Australia. And I wasn't prepared for this, so yeah. I'm gonna be huffing and puffing a little bit, but I was just talking to Marianne here about a concept, right? And I wanted to, I guess, jump on a video and share it with you guys too. And what this concept is, is actually greed and how greed is an essential trait to have in your personality if you want to become a successful entrepreneur now guys let me elaborate on this a little bit because i know that 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 statement to most people would be like whoa dan what 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 are you talking about mate greed greed's not good well yeah it kind of is kind of is depending on how you look at it right it's the same thing with everything in life perspective is is your reality so when i say greed i don't mean like the sort of greed where you will step on anybody step over anybody kick somebody while they're down in order to get what you want that is extremely wrong and it's unsustainable that is that is just being an asshole to be honest right this is not greed now when i say greed what i do mean is self-belief right I struggled with this for a very, very long time. So I know you guys are. We are all walking the same path as entrepreneurs. We have different lives with different events that happen to us. But at the end of the day, we are all walking the same exact paths as entrepreneurs. And, and what I'm getting at here is that self-belief. And what I mean is the belief that you do deserve this success. Even to this very day, I still struggle with that concept, Right? I have worked my ass off for two decades, two and a half decades. The first 15 years, I failed and failed and failed. Oh my God, there's a dog. Hey, look at that. He <laughs> scared me. The first two years, I failed and failed and failed. Uh, 15 years. The last 10 years have been phenomenal. But even throughout all that success I've had in that last 10 years, I've always struggled with that, that ability to believe that I deserve what I've got, right? That ability, that ability to truly believe in your soul, that no matter what anybody says, no matter what you specifically say to yourself in your own head, no matter what the outside naysayers say, no matter what anybody says, that you truly and honestly wholeheartedly believe that you deserve success in your life. Without that belief, and it's, it is a form of greed, guys. That's why I say it's a form of greed, right? Because you have to have, a, I guess, a slight bit of an ego about you to, um, to truly believe that you deserve success over the next person. Um, but without that, the, what I've discovered in my journey, without having that, that belief, and I'm still on that journey. I don't fully believe it yet. I, I believe to an extent. But this is what I was just saying to Marianne right now, right? I can tell her, or you guys, about this trait that I'm developing and feeling grow inside of myself and manifest. And, and I, I, can, I can tell you all about how, as this trait has grown and manifested inside of me, that my success level has risen, my performance level has risen, that all these things are really playing a big part in um, me becoming even more successful as an entrepreneur and as a person inside of my life, right? But no matter how much I can tell them to you, you guys will listen and you'll get where I'm coming from, but you, you won't truly understand it because you're not feeling it. You're not feeling it like I'm feeling it right now. But the truth is you will. If you continue along this journey, it might take 10 years, it might take 20 years, it might take one year. It depends on your personality, right? Eventually, you will feel this and you will cultivate this self-belief, this slight ego, this, this passive greed, I should call it, right? And then you'll understand. Oh, look at that, guys. Beautiful. And then you'll understand what I'm talking about. Years from now, years from now, you will, you will start to feel that emotion inside you, that, that bubbling up, that, that energy inside of you where you, you truly have that self-belief and you'll remember this video and you'll say, man, that's what Dan was talking about. Now I'm st starting to see true success in my life and in my business. It's something that can't be taught. It's something that must be discovered. Discovered through the journey that you walk. Now, I look at some of my mentors that are uber successful. So much more successful than me. And I say to myself, 
These guys, these guys would have had this same epiphany. These guys might have been walking along a trail in the middle of the wilderness. G'day. In the middle of the wilderness telling somebody else, their Marianne, this tale about how they're starting to feel this, this development inside of themselves and their success rate is rising and getting higher, more sustainable. Because they believe that they deserve it, right? This is something that's huge. I honestly don't think you can have success inside your business until you start believing this. And it's a long-term journey. All you need to do is start. Once you start believing it, truly believing it inside yourself, it will unfold and unpack. It could take years. But that's what we do, right, guys? We're entrepreneurs. All right, I'm going to get back to going up this hill. hope you guys got some value out of this. If you did and you want to work with me, guys, you know what to do. Hit me up in the comments. I'll talk to you soon.